Chapter 6 Electronic Mail Learning Objectives Email Advantages of an email Disadvantages of an email Email Address Creating an email account Components of an email window Attaching files to an email Blogging Introduction before the advent of internet, people communicated only by writing messages on paper. These letters were delivered over long distances to trucks, trains, ships and airplanes. Sometimes it took more time to reach its destination. But in recent time, a more effective way of communication called electronic mails is in use. Email Email or electronic mail is a way to send or receive messages through the internet. Email is very fast, usually taking only few seconds to reach its destination. It is much useful when you need to send a message. You can attach digital files including documents, video clips, music and photos to an email. Email is sent and received through a mail server. The mail server functions like an electronic post office. Some of the common mail servers are Gmail, Yahoo and Rediff Mail. Advantages of an email Given below are the advantages of an email. Cheapest mode of communication Once you are online, there is no further expense you need to spend to send your mails. Nothing is charged for sending and receiving emails through even the message is sent across the world. Easy to store. Sent and received messages and attachments can be stored safely, logically and reliably. Easy to use. Process of sending and receiving messages is very simple. If you have an address book of email service, contacts can be accessed easily and quickly. Easy to prioritize. Incoming messages have subject line that means you can delete them without opening. Fast Email is the fastest means of written communication. A message can reach to any part of the world in a fraction of a second. Global Web-based email means you can access your messages anywhere when you are online. Content The email message may contain a few lines or a thousand of lines. Message is not charged by weight as in postal services. Material communicated. Not only text messages but pictures, videos and sounds can also be sent through emails. Disadvantages of an email. Besides number of advantages, email has certain drawbacks too. Emotional responses. Some emails may upset you or cause anger and discomfort. Lack of personal touch. Email lacks that personal touch that a handwritten card or letter gives when it comes to relationships. Viruses Email is one of the main source of virus. A virus can easily affect your computer. Fast Internet Connection To send emails or attachments, you require a fast and reliable internet connection. Email Address An email address acts like the postal address. It indicates the location on the internet where a message has to be sent. An email address usually comprises of three parts, the username, the at the rate symbol and the domain name. Together, an email address is read as username at the rate domain dot com. Domain name is the name of the mail server. For example, yahoo.com is a domain name. A typical email address looks like this. Rohit at the rate gmail dot com Creating an email account An email address can be created easily through an email client website. The mail servers in such websites allocate every user with a unique email address. Some of the websites that provide free email accounts are www.gmail.com www.yahoomail.com and www.hotmail.com To create an email account with Gmail, follow the steps given below. Connect to the internet by double-clicking on the web browser, for example, Microsoft Edge.
Type gmail.com in the address bar and go to the Gmail site. Click on the link Create Account present at the bottom and select For Myself. A form will appear on the screen. Fill in all the information that has been asked like your name, last name, email address, you prefer or password. Be very careful with your password. Memorize it and keep changing the password periodically to maintain the security of password. There is a section in the form which asks you your phone number, recovery email address, date of birth and gender. Fill in the details and press text. Read the terms and privacy conditions and press I agree. After filling the form and agreeing to the terms and conditions, your email account is created and you receive a new email address and a password. Login or sign in. The process for entering into a personal email account is called login. To log in an account, you must type a correct email address and a password. Components of an email window. On successfully logging into an email account, several options such as Inbox, Drafts, Compose and Sent Mail are visible on the screen. Inbox It comprises the received mails. Compose This option is used to write and send new messages to others. On clicking this option, you get a window to fill in the following details. 2. Type the email address of the recipient in this box. Without entering the email address of the recipient, the email cannot be sent. CC CC is the short form of carbon copy. In this box, you can enter the email address of the person to whom you would like to send the copy of your mail. This is optional. BCC BCC stands for blind carbon copy. In this box, you can enter the email address of another recipient who receives the copy of the mail but whose name and address are hidden from all other recipients. This is also optional. Subject Write the subject of the message in this box. Recipients see the subject of the mail in the summary of their incoming messages. Body of the mail This box is for typing the main content of the message. This message can be of any length. Attachment Any type of attachment in the form of a document, photo, audio or video can be sent together with a reply. When you receive a message, you may want to respond to it. For this, the email window has a reply option. Click on this option and type your message as a reply to the email received. Inbox Inbox is like a mailbox in which all the incoming mails are stored. Starred It contains important mails which you have marked as starred so that it becomes easy to find such mails. For this, click on the star beside a message. Sent mail. It contains all the mails you have sent to the recipients. Drafts. Drafts are used to contain those messages which you do not want to send yet. Trash. Trash folder is used to store the deleted emails for a defined time. All mail. This is an archive folder where all the emails are stored with label. Sign out. You can log out from your account by clicking on sign out option and your account will be closed safely. Attaching files to an email. Picture, photograph, text file or voice messages can be sent as an attachment in email. To attach a file to an email, follow the steps given below. Click on the attachment option in the new message box and insert attachment dialog box appears. Find and select the files you want to attach and then click on attach button. The attached file information displays in the new message box. Click on the send button after typing the email address of the recipient in two box. Blogging A blog is also known as web blog. It is a personal online diary which allows you to share thoughts and ideas. You can add video, pictures, music etc. to the blog. You can do all these things without the need of any programming knowledge. 
Blogging is the act of posting content on a blog or posting comments on someone else's blog. Blogging is very popular today because it allows people to interact with each other. Blogging has also become a popular search engine optimization tool because search engines like Google and Yahoo know that a blog is frequently updated with content in visitor comments. Sometimes blogging can also be used as actual media that spreads news. There has been more than one occasion where a major newspaper decided to run only a small article about something that lots of people would consider big news. There are many different types of blogs like personal blogs, corporate and organizational blogs which are interactive, allowing visitors to leave comments to bloggers' postings. Quick Backup Email or electronic mail is a way to send or receive message through the internet. An email address comprises of three parts, the username, the at the rate symbol and the domain name. Domain name is the name of the mail server. The process for entering into a personal email account is called login. BCC enables you to enter the email address of another recipient who received the copy of the mail but whose name and address are hidden from all other recipients. You can also send pictures, text or sound as an attachment through your email message. While sending or receiving messages, one should be alert.